when you're buying a magnesium glycinate supplement, you wanna make sure that it's a pure magnesium glycinate that hasn't been mixed with the cheaper, often lower quality form like magnesium oxide. This mixing process is called buffering, which brands will often do to keep the cost down, but in essence, you're diluting the product and reducing its overall quality and effectiveness. The reason this is important is the amount of magnesium that we absorb varies greatly between supplements. And if we're wanting to get the most benefit from a magnesium supplement, we wanna be looking to forms that have high absorption. And pure magnesium glycinate supplements are one form of magnesium that has some of the highest absorption rates, which means it's going to give some of the most benefit. But when you mix in a lower quality form of magnesium, like magnesium oxide, the total amount of magnesium that you're going to absorb will reduce, especially when magnesium oxide has a low absorption of only about 4%. So to put that in perspective, if you were to supplement 100 milligrams of magnesium oxide, you're only going to absorb about four milligrams, which in the scheme of things is not a lot at all. And coming back to this idea that the more magnesium you absorb, then the more likely you are to experience a benefit, we always want to be looking to a pure magnesium glycinate. So how do you then check that it is pure and not buffered? The first and most obvious step is to check the, the label of the supplement bottle on the bottle itself or on the brand's website. And if you see the words magnesium oxide or buffered magnesium glycinate or magnesium glycinate buffered, then you know it's been buffered and you can throw that one right to the side. But personally, what I like to do, because brands don't always detail whether it has been mixed with magnesium oxide, is to actually use the total magnesium amount and the elemental magnesium amount and calculate whether it's pure or buffered. Now, unfortunately, the only way that you can check this is if the brand that you're buying from does detail the total and the elemental magnesium amount separately, which as a quick refresher, total magnesium is the combined weight of the magnesium and whatever the magnesium is bound to. So in the case of magnesium glycinate, that's magnesium bound to the amino acid glycine and elemental magnesium is just the weight of the magnesium itself, which is more formally known as the absorbable part of the magnesium supplement. In a pure magnesium glycinate supplement, the elemental magnesium should equal no more than 12 to 14% of the total magnesium amount. And you calculate this by dividing the elemental magnesium by the total magnesium amount. This will bring you to a decimal point then you multiply that by 100 to give you the percentage. I know that's a little bit of maths, so just follow the instructions here. And again, what we're looking for is an elemental magnesium amount of 12 to 14% of the total magnesium amount. This is based on the molecular weights of magnesium and glycine. So there really is no way to hide whether it has been buffered or mixed with magnesium oxide. So by doing this calculation, you know 100% of the time, every time, whether you are in fact buying a pure magnesium glycinate supplement.